Hi, everyone who's interested in dyeing. I know not all your tarot people are, but this is the sheep floral that I did, that I showed you all that I was cutting. This will dry a little bit lighter. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of rinsing to get this end up with a lot of sheep floral. Wool, um, you have to be careful with and not change the temperature too much. This was left in the pot to sit overnight. And so I get the color. The color will stay in and it's nice and cool so I can use cold water to rinse it. So, and like I said, it will take several rinses to get this nice and mint, but the color is pretty much in there and it will dry a little lighter. I will take pictures when it's dry. This is roving, which I really have to be careful with. The yarn so much, you don't have to worry about that matting up. It usually doesn't. Um, but this you have to be very gentle with. This is a roving. It almost looks pinkish, but I think it's going to be like a very light brown. And that was from the roots of the sorrel. And this was from the tops with an iron mordant. This has no more but you can see how the water is a little darker. And I'm not going to rinse this too much because it will be rinsed again after it dries. So I'm just going to take it out and put it in this bucket and let it drip. And then I'm going to get out a screen to let it dry on. So we'll just take that right out. You can see the water. It's not too bad. We'll let that drip in this. The calendars come out really good, and I don't like to leave my whole thing out funny. I'm going to take the hole, as you can see, and it doesn't hurt it because, like I said, when it's already been spun, it's, it's really kind of hard to ruin it from temperature changes. I mean, the temperature change would have to be like really extreme, so you can see all the seeds floating in it. Take it with the holes and really give it a really good rinse. Because people don't want the dye running out. As you can see, it's not really. It might lighten it up a bit and it'll probably lighten it. I will put a picture on Instagram when I am done with this. When it's all nice and dry, which might not take too long. We're coming out of the so. Don't have to worry about the seeds when the yarn dries. They will just fly right out of there anyway. You're not going to worry about it. Would, you wouldn't want to have seeds to roll in there. So the rolling you definitely want to um, make sure all the debris is out as much as possible. That, but it will come out too in this can. You just don't want a lot of it in there from the can and so it will. So I will let that sit and turn the holes down. I like to leave it running because it's one of those sink up holes and um the it will, if you don't leave it running, it really puts a lot of pressure on it. Okay. So that's the leftover. Um, yeah. Sheep saw roll after it was been cooked in the pot. And there's the roots. I hope you can see the roots right there. It's kind of hard for me to see, but I got my sunglasses on. So you can see it looks like dried out straw. Because all the pigment was taking out of it. So you can see that one what it looks like so i think i'll stop this for now and i'm going to rinse really rinse this some more give it a couple more good rinses get a lot of the seeds out and really shake it up and guys who are interested i just got two fleeces 
they're kind of old so they're really dirty and I'm going to clean them by fermentation method and so when I get that set up I'm going to I will show you that so stay tuned if you're interested in wool hopefully I'll maybe I might get to a tarot video this afternoon I hope so because there are a couple I really wanted to do but life is busy I knew this time of year I probably wouldn't be doing too many tarot videos but hopefully that uh you know maybe you like both please you know hope you check me out share me with your friends you might think be interested and have a wonderful day it's almost a perfect day here it's gonna be a little hotter in the afternoon but it's not bad have a nice one have a great one weekend over and out now